Young Sal Simpson came out west to a land by the rolling sea. Sal said, I can log this land, and he made him a company. Well, a friend said, Sal, I like you fine, but I don't know about this here company. And Sal said, Red, you can just rest your old head, because that company's nothing but you and me. Yeah, the company's you and me. It ain't nothing but you and me. The company Saul Simpson founded in 1890 has grown with the times. This is a story about Simpson people. Camp Grisdale is one of the last of the resident logging camps in the Pacific Northwest. Set in the rugged Olympic Peninsula of Washington State, it is a living reminder of an older time. As in Saul Simpson's day, the forest is still the foundation, the beginning. is logging foreman at Camp Grisdale. He has been working out of this camp since 1946. Frank is the third generation of his family to work these woods. I got my top and saw that I used to top by hand, hanging up on the wall in the in the wife's utility room, and I like to look at it once in a while, but I sure as hell wouldn't, wouldn't want to go back and do it again. I make a trade. I, I got two, two green chokermen on. Used to be, you know, it was an 18 shirt and a two hat, and here you went. But now it's, you gotta use a little brain. So these young fellas that we got coming up now are pretty, pretty much of a, a multi-skilled longer. And really, I'm, I'm quite impressed with a lot of them.
allows me for one thing to get the logs out in a safe and you know expeditious manner and this is the thing that i try to do because i figure if simpson makes money well then i make money but i'm doing something i like and something i believe in we've got the world's worst ground i mean everybody talks about rough ground they come up here and take a look and then oh my god probably the, the most of the of the guy's physical ex effort now is actually getting in and getting out Sometimes if they get over the hump, you know, it might follow them up. How much they got left on this road, Chris, you know? Well, they're down there in a whole pile of them. Yeah, oh, yeah. They All along, huh? They were down there today where that one snag is, where it comes up that's busted, you know? Yeah. Stop. They've been right there all day, just down, and they've just gone over the... Yeah, of course, everything here will run right down in there. Yeah, right. Yeah. And this is what they've been getting out of all these long... Ones. Yeah. You know, we not Simpson, but I know a lot of guys that work for other outfits. And I feel that, that and this is all sincerity too, that Simpson takes care of their own people. Frank and his crew are logging in the famous Shelton Cooperative Sustained Yield Unit. This unit is a unique agreement between government and private industry. In 1946, a hundred-year contract was signed between Simpson Timber Company and the United States Forest Service. Over 300,000 acres of public and company land are combined into a single unit, jointly managed by Simpson and the Forest Service. This agreement has proved so successful that the allowable timber harvest from this land has nearly doubled in the first three decades of operation. Harvesting and reforestation are perfectly balanced assuring that there will be perpetual timber crops. I was here when the sustained yield unit first went through Congress, you know, and, and now the older this unit gets, the better everybody likes it, especially the Forest Service. Yeah, uh, no, no problem. We'll, we'll pick them up. Monday when you get the, the Forest camp, Service you... people here have the power to make decisions on the job, and I think this has made it much better for both, you know, because the, the on-the-job decision a lot of times is the one that that makes money for both sides. I've been around here long enough, I can see the sustained yield unit in action. I mean, you can see the second growth, you can see the system of block cutting and how it works. This was the hardest thing I remember when I first started in the woods for me to proceed, that I couldn't see any way that that stuff could grow that fast. Although this area was clear-cut 40 years ago, today it is covered again by a healthy second-growth forest. The primary purpose of the sustained yield unit is to provide a stable economy for local communities. Without such a plan, many small towns, McClary, Elma, Montesano, perhaps even Shelton, would have become ghost towns as timber resources ran out. Today, Shelton is one of the largest wood products manufacturing centers of the Pacific Northwest.
Here's some of the last logs coming out of Grisdale. Some of the old pumpkins that you're so used to seeing in the past. This is looking up the right of way towards Grisdale. We've got about eight inches of snow here. of an era. Six thousand of us now in all. And old Saul, he saw what we all can see. The company is nothing but you and me. And nothing but you and me. The company is you and me.
Those trees we're looking at right now was part of the bunkhouse area years ago, and they took out bunk bunkhouses and planted trees. We're looking right now at where the, the flunky shack was, and the tree that you see right in the middle there is where the dinky set for many years, and it's now restored and in operation. I'd like to point out that in the early days of Grisdale, this timber you're looking at right here was not there at all. It was just totally bare. I'm standing right in my old office area on the slab of the truck shop, and we're looking out towards the main entrance to Grisdale, down towards the family area, the ball field. Beyond the ball field are the 50 homes. 